Just a little kiss can give you the eyes of the gods. Quoted from S2 Chase and TopCat59 who both made a similar comment. If you want your comment featured in a video, then either one, make it funny, or two, if you have the best answer to the question of the day, I will feature it as well. Or whatever I feel like. Anyway, so yeah, soldiers, it's your boy Namus Case coming to another video, and this is what Sasuke got the running on after kissing Naruto part two. This is written by my boy Drew. If you have not seen part one, go watch it, as Ryan style is not like my usual what ifs. Though, in exchange, I do the editing because I want to improve my craft with, well, video editing. Feel free to critique my editing in the comments so I can learn what you want, whether it's for the visuals or audio editing. And before I get into the recap, follow my social medias on screen. And if you want to donate, make sure you go to my Patreon, which is linked in the description for that. My Twitter, at MSH4, is the best way to reach out to me, but I also have a Discord server if you want to join my community and get involved. If you like the content, make sure to like the video and sub. It really does help me out since it helps me get into the algorithm more, so please do so. And in addition to helping me, you know, improve my craft with video editing, make sure that you also give me an opinion on this video overall, like what you think of the script or whatever, and blah, blah, blah. Again, be it positive or negative, just comment down below. It really does help me out, whether it be through the algorithm or, of course, via how to improve my craft. So, again, please do that. Without further ado, let's get into part two. All right, so in the last part, I explained, well, Drew's mad lad logic to how the scenario would even work in the first place. I also teased what may happen in Boruto, as well as asking you guys a question about which continuity I should follow for extending my older series. But I am holding off for now because even I am not ready to do it yet as I need more data. But also today's question of the day will also be a reason why. Oh yeah, the story. So yeah, Sasuke puckers up with Naruto. Naruto and Sasuke meet heroes in earlier than in canon only to get nothing useful the first time. And it's only after Sasuke threw the bell test to have his teammates pass that it causes Kakashi to do the chakra nature paper test to find out Sasuke has all five chakra natures. Hiroshin comes to the conclusion Sasuke might be a child of prophecy and calls upon Jiraiya. Jiraiya joins him in the Land of Waste mission and Naruto thanks to Jiraiya giving him some minor help, encourages him to defeat one of the Demon Brothers. Before Jiraiya arrives, Sasuke learns some sensory ninjutsu to allow him to sense chakra around him, somewhat similar to the Renegon's actual ability. However, this is early part 1 Sasuke, so when Zabusa shows up while Sasuke is able to defeat him using a big black chakra rod, or BBCR, I mean black receiver, however, the energy to create it makes Sasuke drop in chakra, and Kakashi orcs in his chakra like he can, so he is bedridden for now. Dry talks with Kakashi, and he gets the okay to train Team 7 until he is healed. Oh yeah, by the way, minor fan, a lot of people kept asking why didn't Naruto get the Renegon, even though it was completely outlined that Naruto threw up after kissing Sasuke, which ruined his chances of getting the Renegon. Sasuke didn't get rid of the DNA, so he has the Renegon. I really don't know how people didn't pick that up. It was explained in the beginning, but it's whatever. Anyways, you pick up to that training. Dry tells Team 7 that Zabuza is alive, and Sasuke should have had better aim if he wanted to kill the guy. Sasuke says in a serious tone, You're right, I should have aimed my big black rod better. Dry laughs and says, Hey now, kid, let's call that attack something else. How about the black receiver? Sasuke says he likes his name better, but I guess his name idea is fine. Dry being interested in Rigon asks about it, which is Naruto and Sasuke said they kissed before Sasuke acquired it. Naruto explains how long they knew each other, and Sakura gets bored of Naruto's speech about friendship. Sakura says, how can Sasuke be friends with an orphan like you? Naruto says, it's not like I was an orphan by choice, and hell, at least my parents get more screen time than yours do. That last part, Naruto doesn't really say, but Drew thought the line would be funnier if he said it that way. Anyways, Shreya says, so, about that kiss, how did it happen? Seems like there was some love and passion with it from how deep Naruto described your friendship. I write romance novels, kid. Don't worry, I can understand if it's complicated or something else. Sasuke is traumatized by that kiss, his whole life changed because of that, and Sasuke says, It was an accident, alright? I don't feel like talking about it. Naruto says it wasn't that big of a deal, but he is grossed out thinking about it. Dry decides to take everyone to the beach and says they are going to practice a water walking exercise. Sasuke says, he was probably just doing this to see soccer in a swimsuit. Dry angrily says, You little brat, I have standards. You're into boys then, Naruto responds. Dry says, No, 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 no. Not at all, young man. Sasuke is right, I am into woman, but I am into real woman, if you know what I mean. Soccer game Barbara says, We know already, just stop. 
Dry says, all right, all right, take it easy, young Kunoichi. Today, I'm going to teach you how to walk on water. Dry would explain everything, and because Sakura having perfect control over her chakra, will be able to get the exercise no problem. She will then check on Kakashi and get away from this pervert. She hopes none of the other legendary Sonin are like this. Naruto, having issues with the exercise, will go to Sakura and ask for advice. Dry takes note of that, mentally admiring his urge to rely on his teammates. Sasuke in this time will be perfect thanks to having all five chakra natures and just using the water chakra applying some basic taijutsu. When Naruto tried to ask him for help, Sasuke could not describe what he was doing really and felt embarrassed he could not visualize what he did to Naruto. Jiraiya walks up to Sasuke after Naruto leaves and tells him, Hey, remember when you read books while you could see? Well, books are descriptive as there are no pictures contained within them. Unless they are shonen jump manga, of course. Sasuke asks, what are shonen jump manga? Dry says, never mind. Anyways, besides that, there are also children's picture books. If you need to describe a surrounding, try to use your senses and get a feel of the area. Sasuke admires his advice and starts practicing by taking mental notes of what was around him. Eventually, Naruto comes back with Sakura and Sasuke says he wants to leave and check on Kakashi. Naruto, with Sakura's coaching, is able to do the water walk exercise at last. After Naruto is done training, he goes back with Sakura and tells her maybe she is useful after all. Sakura is mad at first, but she never felt helpful since Naruto and Sasuke were stronger than her, so in this moment she feels pretty accomplished. While she is intelligent, it will only be a matter of time before she is surpassed, so she tells Naruto she will become a master tactician, and even if she may never be stronger than her teammates, she will reach a point where she consistently outsmarts them one day. Oh yeah, Naruto doesn't meet Haku in the forest because he doesn't train over there, so that is skipped. During dinner, Tazen tells him a story about Gato and Inari. And that will mostly go as in canon, though Naruto, knowing about his parents, still manages to relate to Inari, saying that his parents used to be heroes too, and they sacrificed themselves to protect him from a scary monster. Naruto says he and Sasuke know what it's like to be alone, but they both gave up on crying one day. Inari will be touched by this, but Sasuke says until he can kill the man who wrongs him, he will never give up that hatred or sorrow as that is what drove him to wanting to become a powerful shinobi in the first place. Inari will be confused, but Kakashi tells him not to worry about him much or else his emo might rip off on him. Before I get into the Zabuza and Haku fight, question of the day. Do you want me to cover the Naruto movies for my what-if scenarios? I am not talking about the full movie release, I do where I put all the parts in one video, but rather one shots that would be separate from what I like to call the can of that what if scenario, and they'd be more like an extension to them. I have been watching movies with Drew and a few of the patrons for a series where I break them down, but that video may or may not be out yet at the time of me reading the script. Let me know in the comments below. Alright, so Kakashi, Jiraiya, Sasuke, and Sakura escort Tazuna to work at the bridge, leaving Naruto behind to rest like in canon. They find Tazuna's workers to have been attacked, and the area quickly became covered with a veil of mist. Sasuke says, Jiraiya, I can somehow see him. Well, an outline of at least two people and one of them is Zabuza, but I don't recognize the other one. You see, in Naruto chapter 419, is established that a Rinnegan user can see through invisible barriers, but in chapter 433, this is not applied to obstructions like smoke bombs. Considering Dry teaching Sasuke about visualizing his surroundings, I feel like it's not too much of a stretch to give this power to Sasuke at this point in the story. But with chakra control being a feign, Sasuke could only use this for a brief moment. Naruto is saving Nari from Gato's folks and congratulate him for staying up for himself and leaves to join the rest of his team. Back at the bridge, Sasuke and Sakura bow with Haku. Dry is allowed by Kakashi to intervene to help take on Zaza with him. Haku, noticing Sasuke's capabilities, decided to use his demonic mirroring ice crystals, which traps Sasuke and Sakura in a cage of ice. Haku beats down on the both of them, but Sasuke takes on some of the hits for Sakura. Figure out a plan, dammit. Be useful for once or we're both going to die. Sakura grabs all the pair bombs and smoke bombs and uses them all at once. This doesn't shatter the mirrors, but she manages to get Haku while he was traveling between them. Haku will get injured and will lose focus as the mirrors fade away. Meanwhile, Zabuza is captured by Dry and Kakashi. With Kakashi taking his blade and Dry summoning a giant frog to sit on top of Zabuza. He will then apologize to Tassin for damaging the bridge. Jiraiya then asks, can he fix it? And then Tazna says, yes, I can! Tazna the Builder! Okay, I'm not doing that. Haku tries to teleport in to help his sensei, but it's no use. 
Zaza says they're outmatched, and Kakashi, even while injured, could have killed him at any time, especially with the legendary Sonic Dry assisting him. Haku decides to plead to Naruto about why Zaza and Haku were doing what they were doing, and Naruto believes them because of what happened with Inari. Gatsu appears on the bridge laughing, saying the Leaf Village can't do a damn thing. Sasuke says, Screw the rules! I am Nuchia and I don't take oars from nobody's like you! Suddenly, the ground beneath Gatsu crumbles along with his men staying on the bridge. It ends with all of them drowning. In Minecraft, of course. Gatsu is nowhere to be found, and Kakashi says, Can you fix this? Tazen says, I can fix the bridge, but I couldn't fix this country. Thank you, Sasuke, the Uchiha, and Zabasa of the last seven swords from the mist. Zabasa cries a bit, never being thanked before in his entire life like this. Haku says, We need to build a wall, and never allow people like God to do something like this for the village ever again. Zaza says, if it weren't for these shinobi, I feel like we wouldn't have lived to take on Gato in our state. Kakashi offers to take them to get patched up, and they agree. However, they get their asses handed to them so bad they need to go to the Leaf Village for further treatment. Dry ass Haku, so young lady, are you going to enter the tuning exams? A woman with a Keke Genkai like yours could easily be acknowledged as one. Then Haku says, I was outshined by a gain, and I swear I will not let that happen again. In fact, I swear one day I'll become the Misukage and be one like the Hokage Naruto wants to be. Oh, and by the way, I'm a boy. Naruto says, Yeah, Haku, you're the man! And Jirai is just stunned, and his brain can't really process this, and then he'll decide to leave Haku alone to bother Sasuke. Sasuke has no idea of his new Renegon power he used, and Dry says he'll train him before the tuning exams. Naruto asks if he can come along too, and Dry asks, sure why not. Sakura says she wants to join, but Kakashi pulls her side, not wanting her to be around Dry anymore, saying he still has things to train her in. By the time they return to the village, Zabuza is at first unwelcomed by Hirusen, but he is convinced by Team 7 to let him in, along with Haku, and Hirusen will say, Alright, fine, I'll let Zabuza in, but he'll be under watch by some Anbu. Young lady, would you like me to train you personally? Haku then says, I give up! And then will walk out the door. Besides, being trained by Hiru since something straight out of fanfiction. Actually, is there really a difference between a what if and a fanfic? Let me know in the comments below. Anyway, Zabuza will tell Haku that he'll be alright, and then will tell Haku that he had dreams of becoming a Misukake but went about it the wrong way, but Zabuza also believes that Haku can become a great Misukake. Naruto will then say to Haku, I believe you can do it, and then that will end off part 2. Thank you all for watching part 2 of what if Sasuke got the running gun after kissing Naruto. Shout out to Drew for writing this what if, he has his own channel you can check out in the description, and of course, be sure to like the video as it lets me know if I should make more parts of this series. Also sub in if you already are, click the bell icon or notification bell or the taka bell or whatever it's called. Next part of this series will be covering the shooting exams and I will think you will like what Drew has in store. I'll be finishing with Kakashi with Sinchi before I go on my vacation here and expect a stream or two of them back to back to more exact. One of them is the castle stream and the other one is going to be essentially me playing Naruto x to Ninja Voltage, which will eventually become a review. I hope it's better than Ninja Tries and if you want me to recommend me a Naruto game on stream to review, comment down below. In a script here, Drew is saying everyone should pick Fortnite, but please don't. Okay, 1k likes and review the skins or something, how about that? If you'd rather recommend me a fanfic to read, then comment down the name of the fanfic below so I can read it. And please give me a basic synopsis because I would like to know what I'm getting into when it comes to some of these fanfics you're commenting, so just give me a basic synopsis and we're good. We're aiming for 100k next year, but my editor hopes we can get it to it by the end of the year, but in any case, let's get there. Shout out to my Twitter patrons and Matura patrons, Gabe Tidwell and Night Slasher. If you want to join us during our private VCs, all you have to do is give me $5 and up. I sometimes read Drew's scripts or we talk about Yu-Gi-Oh or whatever. So yeah, feel free to donate to my Patreon, link down in the description. And following fall, all my social media is there on screen. And this graphic was made by Frenchie, who is in my Discord, so join us there. Anyways, this script is seven pages long. And that's about it for this video. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, turn on notifications, share the video. This has been your boy, the Amy Sage, sign out, peace, or ha. So long, farewell, cutie outro. Still gonna fight for what I love, still gonna die for what I love, still gonna try, I won't give up, still gonna fight until I've won. They say I'm way too obsessed and I've got nothing left, and I'm not quite there yet, but those words they'll regret, cause I've got something left, and I'm not giving in, I will not let